Hi, this is Cheryl with Sea Spirit Tarot. Still playing around with my spreads, with my Tarot, with my wonderful day. Always I I do a goddess card. There's my goddess. Whoops, not with that light. Amphorite. Amphorite. I cannot say it. Ancient Greek triple goddess, ruler of the sea and all that's in it, the sea foam and the waves. Aphrodite came from the sea foam. When she was Greek, later the Romans adapted her, or do I have that backwards? Yes, she was Greek, and then the Romans adapted her, and they married her to Poseidon, who was also Neptune. And anyway, every day I just pull a... Uh, that's not working well right now at all. I pull a card of a goddess to have to oversee my readings because it's the divine. Feminine is rising. And I am all for that. I've about got the patriarchy, patriarchy. I, my way here is a, what was a space holder, a space mover, a space whatever. Um, I don't know who got the lessons. They were I. I pulled a fairy card. It's almost almost fall, winter. I'll probably... Why is that doing that to me? Didn't do it earlier. And rise above your problems. Rise above your problems. Beautiful purple. Purple again, being a violet fire. Raising above. Always a feel-good card, isn't it? Let's have my camera a little different or something, maybe, you think? We'll see. And I'm still playing with these cards. Now this card, of course, I can't pronounce, but it's your Day of the Dead. And the true meaning of this card in the book um, is that no matter how beautiful and rich you are, you cannot take it with you. Just as in death we realize what's immortal and what is mortal and what we leave. But what I like, what I like about this card, is is to share the beauty, to share the wealth, because it is encouraging to many, and it's, I mean, is beauty not just a lovely thing to see? The fairies are already trying to go hide, rise above your problems. Now this is a spread I did a while back, quite a while back. One was not sure what to do with it. It was supposed to be done with a bunch of different decks, of which I don't have. So I decided to pull this again and play with it and see what happened. So what this is, is a Karmic Grace Tarot spread. I have one Oracle card that said to use two, but I don't have two that work. So how is the karma, my, your karma playing out right now? Oh, how glorious is that? And you know that is the absolute truth. <clears throat> the full moon we have coming in, what is it, five days? There'll be a three-day orb on that. Um, is this time to make your choices, to continue on the life you've had, or, or let Saturn and Pluto and K2 and Neptune and Uranus lead you, and Mercury, <laughs> oh, they're all there. Lead, they're all in little bunches. Lead you to something new. It's time to make a new choice. And that's how my karma is playing out now. Is, is, uh, maybe we should be, I said me, but one should be very careful on their decisions right now. Think, put some thought, put some intuition into this, because this is going to be instrumental in for at least the next 12 years of your life on how you want to cope with this. So right now, I would say the karma playing out is choices, many choices. Are you going to be the sun, Mars action, or is it going to be, who's with Neptune, sitting there with Neptune and Pisces, to think these things out? This is a big step. You have many choices to make. Now is the time you can change your life. In fact, on the... 12th, 13th, and 14th, the Akashic Records will be open, and it will be like a free pass day that you 
can go in and access. The main challenge you're having to resolve this conflict is the Ten of Pentacles. Now, I don't know for sure whether that is wanting your success, whether that is so many people meddling in your success, because a Ten, Ten is absolute physical manifestation in every single way. It appears you have a lot of help uh, here to resolve it or hindrance to resolve it. I can even look at this as our society that if, if more people understood how with astrology they could make choices in their life, not that, society, that astrology decides their fate, but shows them a window of opportunities that they can take or ignore depending on what would be best for them. And certain strengths, because all these planets are talking to each other. So the challenge to resolve what choice you choose to make, it's either, again, you have too many choices, or hindrance or help from family or friends. When only really and truly the true discernment of where you need to be at this time in your life is considered within yourself. And I'm not going to cross that because it doesn't show us pretty cross, does it? Main challenge in order to resolve it. This is a six. This is, I mean, technically in Tarot, this is a card of a claim. You know, the guy comes back and he's won the battle. He has the laurel wreath. Here, here it's the artist handy woman who is being renowned for her craft. But maybe before choices we made, which were the correct choices to make, got us burned at the stake. Even I realize this is the fire at the top. It's still a seven, a bit of a transcendental number. And uh, what do we have, a 10? That's our second seven. So be wise when you make those choices. It could, could be some cleansing fire go through you. It would have not have to be the, that exact kind of fire. It could be a fever of an illness. It could be a fever of a passion. It's going to be something active, though. Active. It's going to take something active to resolve this. Two sevens in a row with a ten. And then for the grace that can be in invoked to resolve this karma, I did use a oracle card, an oracle card that, that was drawn. You'd be so proud. I drew all of these cards with what they call the jumpers, but I didn't want you to be on here 45 minutes, and so I didn't film it all for you. So grace that can be invoked to resolve this karma is new beginnings. So our new beginnings as many choices, choices we've made before, things that we've either been decorated for or we've been purified for, purified as is burning of the witches. I've got the burning of the witches on my mind and new beginnings. Our society is a different place right now, a very different place of awakening, of evolving, <clears throat> of all of us. And what was this card? Oh, yes, this was uh, the challenge to resolve it. And there, I'll just take this challenge, which is a 10, a 10 of completion. Of uh, There's enough people. I think it's enough. It's enough. It's enough. I mean, I've had enough of them not listening and paying attention. Or it's enough of the critical mass. The critical mass has been met. And though it's a slow, slow go to get through that, um, we're reaching critical mass. So that might not be a challenge to resolve it, though it is a challenge to resolve it, because half of us, half the people still basically think we're traitors or, or look at us like with those deer in the headlight eyes, like, you know, what in the hell are you talking about? But the best way to bring about these changes 
is by example. Become that which you wish to see. See, see is my sea goddess here, huh? Rise above the problems. Go with the flow. Don't resist. When you see resistance coming up, breathe. Breathe. Reset. Rise above the problems. Don't listen to these problems. Just give them a smile. Give them a nod. Move on to your choice, to your acclaim, and new, new beginnings. And <clears throat> acceptance and equality is what this card says. And actually that fits well with everything, even though I don't read the books on these cards like the books on this one was worthless. The book on this one has little little tidbits that are kind of interesting to pick up. But acceptance and equality of all, especially yourself, you are good enough to worry about what the other people say. These cards I just shuffled. Vision. I see. I have a vision of a new world. I see clearly what is my own role in its creation. Because I think it's always better when we do two of these. Space and time. Continuum. My consciousness moves beyond space and time. So know that as you're working out this karma with these things, that you do move behind space and time. Those all the wish will awaken. If they don't awaken, they'll stay behind and continue this life they're living. And their life they're living may absolutely be lovely. They have the nicest car, the nicest house, and the nicest swimming pool, and the nicest handbag. And they're playing the political games. I mean, they are the successful people, as one would see it at least in this nation that I live. And when I see people come to visit our nation, they, they feel that we are the nation of success. <clears throat> and they describe it as because all the material of goods are right there, the food on every corner, the designer handbag, um, all of that. Anyway, this is just another reading I wanted to do because I do so enjoy playing with the cards. The more I play, the more I understand. It develops my higher knowledge to help more people to have more new beginnings, rise above their problems. God bless you all. Have a wonderful Sunday evening. Only a couple more weeks. It's going to cool down here to under 90. I just can't wait. I've been such, I'm such a wimp in August, I admit it. Decode the pictures. That's what I want you to see. The message is in the pictures, and it's in the frequency. And it's in the love, and it's in the light. Upgrade your DNA. You can do that just by deciding to do it and rise above your problems. God bless you till the next time.